Hello. Welcome to another episode of CJ Discovery. Today we are out and about in the beautiful weather and we have with us um, the parental figure here. <laughs> <laughs> we came out here because we have got this kit. Josh got this for Christmas. It was a gift and we have held on to it for some pretty weather. We have to have some baking soda and vinegar that does not come with the kit. We paid $1.66 for the baking soda and vinegar there, and that's going to be good for, I think it was about 10 launches of the biggest launch. It says that we can do a few different launches, a small launch, a medium launch, and a big launch, and so we're going to try to do one of each after we get it set up. Do you want to open it up and see what's inside? Let's get the bug. Are you going to play with the bug? here on this. We have, this is the base, and we have the actual rocket tube, got the and oh things God. in my face. This is the base, and that's the wing assembly, that's what that is. And then and we then should have a launch plug, this is launch plug here. and that's the launch tube. launch tube, and then some stickers to put on it. The instructions seem really simple. I'm going to let him do them, but I'm going to tell you what they are. We have five basic parts here. You have this part, this little plug, this tube, this styrofoamy thing that goes on the bottom here, and our base. So the first step is that Josh is going to put the foam thing onto this little rocket tip here. I like my technical terms. And while he's doing that, I'm going to find the, uh, the things I just lost. The next part is, is that he's going to put this part into this base and then this goes right on top of here like that. It's a real simple assembly. They also give you some stickers that you can use to decorate your rocket with however you want. Go ahead, Josh. Let me see this one. Got it. Oh yeah, you did good. You got it on there. I didn't realize you moved it up that much. Okay, the way this works seems kind of simple. You have this here, and this is where your baking soda is going to go. Now, we chose to bring a funnel with us so that we could um, put the baking soda in here a little easier. They give a certain amount, 10, 20, 30 grams for how much you should put in here, depending on how big you want the launch. I actually don't see where it's clearly marked on here for how much the measurement is. However, the tube here is marked for the vinegar, which has a minimum middle line and a max. Um, for, the, for the vinegar end of it. So you're going to put the baking soda in here and then you're going to put hey. the vinegar in here and then you're going to attach it like this. Hopefully that won't happen. You're going to shake it up, put it down, and then get the heck away from it so that it can pop up into the sky. Before we get started, the one thing I want to say is that I'm a little concerned. Um, the instructions say that you should securely attach this to here. But there doesn't seem to be a way. They have little divots on here, and if I push down on this, it's going to crack the tube because they are the same diameter around. So we have looked at it. I know for sure this is on here correctly. Um, the pictures are kind of iffy on that, so we might have some trouble when you pick it up and turn it to the side. I'm afraid baking soda might come out. So we're going to see how that works out, but I'm a little worried about that. So to start with, we're going to try just to do the small launch. I am going to put a little bit of baking soda in here, and he is going to fill that up with vinegar. So go ahead and get the vinegar. Fill it up. You're going to fill it to the minimum line. I have to squat down. Can you scoot over? Josh set it off here. Hold on. I'm going to 
turning towards you. Pushing toward me. Okay, shake it up and set it down. Back away from it. <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, I think what we're going to try to do is because this base is not attached, we're actually going to try to tape it together and see if that helps the situation a little bit. And next time we're going to go through a bigger launch. All right, we're going to try something a little different the second time. I tape, we tape the um, base here so that hopefully that won't fall apart. And I'm actually going to do the shaking and launching this time. Let's see what happens here. You go ahead and fill up your vinegar. I'm going to handle the baking soda. Little launch. Take two. Sail. I can't get it down fast enough. Try this again without the oop. <laughs> yes. Ow! Finger and open sore. Okay, without the oop. Take three. Okay, after a couple tries, um, basically what's happening is I feel the pressure start building and I go to set it down and I just don't get my hands off of it fast enough and get away from it to let it pop up. So they're going to take a try at it because I'm sick of having vinegar all over myself. Launch attempt number four. Thousand. And six <laughs> Unfortunately, I was looking away and I just got the end of it. Alright, we're getting toward the end here. We're going to try a couple more launches. We're going to let Josh try one more time just because it's not like it's been shooting way, way up in the air or anything. So we're going to try that and see how it works. And then I'm going to try it again. And maybe we'll get lucky. I just don't know what's happening. I mean, I, I think part of the problem is, like I said, it's starting to build pressure, but then as soon as we set it down, we go to move, and our hands are just on it a little bit too long, maybe. I don't know, but then you can't just throw it down because it's going to fall over. So. And I don't know if you can see what's happening is it is all pouring out the bottom, so the pressure wasn't able to build up inside that time. So that's what happened that time. All right, we're down to the end. We've actually used all this container of vinegar here, so this is going to be our last attempt. Josh, you can go ahead and fill this. We're just going to use the rest of that. I'm going to fill this up. We have barely touched our baking soda, though. Okay. Trial fly! Here goes what I expect to be an underwhelming attempt. That last attempt had some major effects, so we're, I went and got some more vinegar, and we're going to try this again. We're going to try it that way instead of doing the shaking it up thing. Let's see if that works. So, okay, a little less than underwhelming attempt. Take 20,000. We're going to do one more time and let the kid have some fun at it since we actually figured out how to make it work now. And I'm going to put a ton in this. Sorry. Sorry. One. <laughs> Yay! Okay, what did you think of this kit before I say anything? Um, I didn't really like it because I thought it would 
still higher. I think his assessment is kind of fair, but I will say that once we figured out how to hook it on there, it seemed like it was a lot of fun for me. Um, I think we could have tried it some more. It wasn't very much for the vinegar or for the baking soda, so we could have definitely tried it some more for just a little bit. Um, the instructions say that you're supposed to put it together like this and then kind of shake it and set it down. Every time I would try that, the pressure would start to build up and then as I would set it down, it would pop just a little bit so that when I stepped away, everything would start pouring out the bottom and there was no seal anymore. Um, but once I figured out that I could just set it down right on top and that would allow me to get away and the pressure would build up, that seemed to work. I got it to go several feet in the air. The box says it will go up to 50 feet. Uh, we didn't have anywhere close to that result. Uh, I think that one time it probably went closer to 10 feet, but we didn't have anywhere near 50 feet. The kit says it is for 8 plus and um, definitely something that he could do. I was a little concerned with it shooting up. I would definitely monitor a kid that they wouldn't put their face down over it. If it did shoot up, it could actually hurt them that way. Other than that, it's baking soda and vinegar, so there's no real danger that way, and assembling it is really easy. I'd love to see what your results were if you tried this kit or go out and try it for yourself and let us see what you can do with it. Maybe you can get it to shoot up higher. Uh, I definitely think that if we tried some more we could get a few more good launches out of it. Thank you for joining us on this episode of CJ Discovery. Be sure to click that like button below. Um, please click subscribe. We have done these every Saturday. We are actually going to take a little bit of a break for a few weeks and see what else we can come up with. But after that, we will probably be back with you. Leave a comment below. Let us know, you know, if you've tried this, have you ever attempted this, if you've seen kits that you would like us to do. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Before we leave today, I might have said it before, but we're going to take a little bit of break for a few weeks. Um, we just want to enjoy some of spring and, and get out in the fresh air. We will probably be back. We might do some reassessment and do some different things maybe. See what is fun for us to do because that's a big thing to us is we want this channel to be fun and that we're enjoying it um, and that it's not... I think doing videos is work but that it stays the fun type of work. That, because I feel like if we're not enjoying it then there's no way in the world you guys are going to enjoy it. But I'm almost certain we will be back with something and have some fun. We both love having a YouTube channel. Right? You love having a YouTube channel? Huh? Right? You love having a YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. But we both ha love doing YouTube videos. It's fun for us. I enjoy the editing, so we'll be back. But I want to make sure a clip. Thank you for those who have left a comment and for those who have watched our videos. I am really appreciative. I know we've gotten a couple subscribers and I am really appreciative that you guys have joined us and I hope you will stick around for when we come back. Thanks. Bye.